and another one you got ourselves another one of these sealed promo pack boxes I've come to really enjoy opening these things <clears throat> rather than opening uh, awful abysmal failure that are play boosters which are really just draft boosters with you know five six extra rares per box no big deal <clears throat> I'm taking a liking to open in these instead. I know you're not supposed to, but I also know I don't care. We got, what is it, five, five foil promo packs, and I believe it's 18 regular packs. Knowing that it's five and 18, I think there's some stores skimping on the promo packs. Huh? Where are the rest of them going, store? Fanfare and uh, Kalamazoo does a really good job of passing a bunch out. There's a decent hit. Right at the beginning there, Gadgeteer, Forensic Gadgeteer, uh, Lightning Helix, and an Offset Rare, which is uh, Brotherhood's End. A couple of decent rares, nothing super huge or anything like that. Moving on to the next pack. See if we can keep our string of uh, Cracking Shoulders alive. I've been on a really lucky tear of opening shouldered the apocalypse in these we've got a card i really like from this set sharp-eyed rookie crawl whipcracker you uh kenrith's royal funeral also you nothing to write home about there this pack here this is gonna have some magic for us no witnesses decent wrath probably we'll see a lot more play after some of the current wraths rotate out in a few months here. Uh, Gleaming Gear Drake, Vein Ripper. There we go. I believe that's a $30 hit right there. Nice hit, doing well so far. Two decent hits, one bomb hit. And we get another card I like a lot from this set. Kind of underrated a bit. It is uh, Ill-Timed Explosion. Draw two cards, discard two cards, deal damage equal to the highest mana value cards discarded this way. No more lies. Card that's getting a lot of play. And wrong turn. Wrong turn from Commander Legends. <clears throat> Fun card. Not really worth much, but I play it. Deck spell slinger deck where I get to copy spells. Give give people's commanders to other people. Really throws them off. Pyrotechnic performer. Fun card. Uh, we've got long goodbye. Good card there. And... Another good hit, not a bomb hit. You got Junji, the Midnight Sky of the Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty set. Doing okay so far. Doing okay so far. Pretty good. I said we'll, we'll call it pretty good. Tenth District Hero, Gleaming Gear Drake. Right there's another good hit. Uh, Fairy Mastermind, usually 15 to 18 uh, dollars per card. I actually need that. Very happy to get There's another good hit. Usually around $10. War Leader's Call. Good box so far. Man, if we hit a shield. Ledger Shredder, another good hit. Wow. This box is really hitting right now. Really hitting. Oh, let's keep it going. Why not? Why not get a $600 box? We get Krenko. Good card. Not worth a whole lot. Gleaming Gear Drake. We get... Uh, intrude on the mind. Yeah, that's the one that makes a, a thopter if you don't give them cards. Not the greatest. It's a mythic for some odd reason, but not the greatest card. Uh, Case of the Ransack Lab. Card I think has a lot of potential. Uh, no more lies. Good to get. And Unmarked Grave. Good card. Not worth a whole lot, but a really good card. I played it in a lot of Commander decks. Unmarked Grave. Get you any non-legendary creature into your graveyard we've got a really arulia the law above another long goodbye and our first of the surveil lands surveil one lands very nice very nice gotta remember not to show these codes on the screen or people will cash them in without even giving a like or a comment or anything like that we've got assemble the players very fun car i found it you know I've been playing it in standard a lot, and it has been whiffing a lot, and it just seems like it's just bad luck. Should be better than it's been. Maybe we can turn that luck around this weekend when I play it again. In my Delny deck. 
What do we got here? Connecting the dots. A lot of people are trying to build with this. Yet another long goodbye. And a Mishra's Foundry. One more regular pack, and then we bust into the foil packs. That's where the shoulder is, right? In those foil packs right there. And a pretty good box thus far. What is going on? Oh, this isn't foil. For some reason, it looked like it was foil there for a second, but it's not. We've got Relive the Past. Pretty crappy rare. For a Whipcracker and a Cultivator Colossus. There you go. Another good hit. Not huge, but pretty good. So we did pretty good in these... Uh, I would say really good in the regular packs. Let's see if we can follow that up with a really, really good or even a bomb run of hits in our foil packs here. Foil pack one out of five. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get that foil shield. We have got Axbane Ferox. Not starting off so great, but no more lies in foil and hopeless initiate in foil. No More Lies is a pretty good card. It's getting a lot of play all over the place. It's like Mana Leak, but Exile. Next kind of card you play in the blue white control shell. Anyway, so the white pit's not really a big deal. We have got Drag the Canal. We have got a Foil Long Goodbye with it. Now we've got a Foil Cultivator Colossus. It's a Double Cultivator Colossus box. I wouldn't mind getting another Mythic in that back slot. Another mythic out of Dominaria United, specifically Shield of the Apocalypse. We have got cute card, nothing great. Barb Servitor, Crawl Whipcracker, and a Traxa Grand Unifier. Very nice. Very nice. This box has been really good, really, really good. I'm, I'm very happy, very, very happy. And let's keep it going with a foil forensic gadget here. Good card, not great. Uh, Gleaming Gear Drake and Breach the Multiverse, another good card. Not a bomb hit, but definitely a good one. All right, let's end it strong. Last pack magic, ladies and gentlemen. Last pack magic. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Assassin's Trophy, that's not magic. Second No More Lies, that's pretty good. And a Foil Surveyor Land, pretty good pack. No more lies in Surveil and make it a good pack. Overall, pretty amazing box right here. I'm very happy. I'm a lot more happy with this than I think I would have ever been if any of those boxes of play boosters. Tell me what you think about boxes of play boosters down in the comments section. If you're looking for any of these arena promo codes, tell me down in the comments section how many you want. Make sure you have uh, your email address on your... Uh, on your profile so when I go there I can find your email address and I will email you uh, one to five codes if you want five codes you can have five codes I got these codes coming out of my ears nothing to do with them but until next time this is Impulse TCG signing out